hello so <clears throat> today we are looking at the experiment uh, which is known as venturi effect which is a set of ventilation experiments in the kit here i have all the equipments that we will be requiring to perform this experiment firstly i have the tunnel assembly for which i have the tunnel roof i have the tunnel base and uh, this is my tunnel back side and this is the front side of the tunnel additionally i have uh, the the side walls of the tunnel i have taken these two walls as the side walls um, and i have clips that i'll be using to assemble the tunnel i also have this paper that we will be using to uh, in the experiment and additionally i will require a couple of other equipments equipments to be able to perform this experiment one is a table fan and one is an anemometer to note the wind flow readings the objective is uh, for this experiment is for students to understand the whole venturi effect concept which is nothing but um, reduction of uh, flow area which results in an increase in uh, wind speed so here we will demonstrate the whole uh, the whole concept of venturi effect and this will uh, be able to let them imagine how they can use this effect uh in terms of cross ventilation when they, if they can reduce the openings that will result in uh, increase in velocity at that point so this is the objective and outcome of this experiment we will look at the assembly of this experiment first we will assemble the tunnel this is the tunnel base here i will take the tunnel back side and make sure that the markings are outside and match this notch with the hole provided here then i will take the side walls i'll also make sure the top side is is on top and with the help of the of a clip i will fix this edge once this edge is fixed i will move to the other side take the other side of the wall and fix this again once this is done i'll take the tun cover rooftop of the tunnel so this is before uh, putting the front side what i will do is i will take this paper here and i will so uh, the the use of this paper is that we have to make a curve inside the tunnel out of this paper here you can see there are two slots provided in the paper and there are two uh, these two parts here should go into the slot
and once this curve is done we will enter it inside the tunnel and put the front of the tunnel. This is the assembly of the experiment. We will look at the procedure of this experiment. To start off, first I will set the fan like this. Now the second important thing that I have to make sure is that the tunnel that I have needs to be in line with the axis of the fan and for that I need to provide some elevation to the tunnel so that it comes in the center of uh, the fan. For that I am using a few parts from the kit. We can use whatever we want, we can use books etc. whatever we have uh, just, to, just that we have to make sure that this is uh, given a bit of an elevation. Here we have a few boxes that I have used, you can see here and on top of that I will also use this board here that I have so that I can provide it in an elevation. And now I keep the tunnel on. So here you can see you can see that now the opening provided here is directly in front of the uh, axis of the fan. Once we are done with this, we'll start the fan once the fan is started the first part that we'll do is we'll take this anemometer we'll switch it on and take the first reading so this is the the center slot is the slot where the anemometer would go and we also have to make sure that anemometer is uh, somewhere at the center of the tunnel so that it, it can give us a proper reading. So now I am just entering it and I am just so that I am able to see the reading from this side. I am flipping it. Okay, so I've just shuffled a fan so that I get a, a proper wind flow inside this uh, this window here. Now I'm getting a wind flow. I'm just changing the units from kilometer per hour to meter per second. So I've gotten a reading of 2.8 meter per second with this arrangement. So I'll, I'll just note it down. Then what I'll do is I'll change this arrangement and I will put this curve part here 
inside the tunnel I'll close this off and I will again take the reading. So here I can directly say that the reading that I am getting here is 19 meter per second. So just by reducing this section here, the center section, I am getting an increase of so much. This shows the, venture, the, the impact of Venturi effect. Once you reduce the area of an opening, the cross-sectional area of an opening, we get an increased uh, sort of um, wind flow. This will have, I mean, this will give students a visual imagination of this whole concept. Thank you.